You good? So this video is a follow up to another video that I made previously, so go check out that one if you haven't seen it. But essentially I was trying to do more aggressive turns and I kept falling off foil without even really turning. So this answers that question. If you find that you're falling off foil when you're trying to turn more aggressively, this is the reason why. Let's talk about wingtip breaches. By the end of this video, you should have a better understanding of why you can recover from some breaches and why you can't recover from others. The basic answer is, it's all about the angle of attack that the wing breaches at. And this is the angle of attack. So let's explain some science. So ventilation is literally just air getting in underneath the wing and it travels along the surface of the wing. And what this does is it reduces the effective lift that the, that the wing can provide. That's the most basic answer. This is a comparison of a very wide wing and a very narrow wing. You can see that as the wide wing tip comes up through the water, it is a very shallow angle. Versus the 800 wide wing, as it comes up, it has a very aggressive angle. This will mean that you're more likely to recover. If we compare these two wing tips at around the same tip uh, exposure, you can see that the angles are vastly different. What this means in effect is that the narrower wing is much better at handling ventilation because if you happen to breach, you're probably on a much greater angle. Whereas on a wider wing, it's very easy to breach them with a shallow angle. I jumped to the pool to make a little more realistic example. So I've set tape as a height on the mast to compare the two wings. And you can see that as I pull the wide wing out, it has a very shallow angle. I know I'm just reiterating the point, but it really helps to understand this. So if you're sitting high on the mast and you try and do a turn with a wide wing, you don't have enough angle when the breach occurs. Whereas with the narrow wing, you can see very quickly comes up and gets an aggressive angle. So it's really just two parts to this. If you're on a wide wing, obviously because it's wide, you're more likely to breach. Second thing is if you're on a wide wing, if you do happen to breach, you have a shallower angle. So it's more likely to ventilate and be unrecoverable. So the way to get around this, the way to change your riding, the takeaway from all this is twofold. If you are on a wide wing, when you go to do an aggressive turn, you need to get quite low on your mast. Or else, if you do happen to breach, you're probably gonna ventilate to the point that it's pretty much unrecoverable. The second thing is, there's a double benefit to narrow wings. They turn better, they turn harder, and they handle breaches better. So if you wanna start getting into much more surfy rather than glide, I would highly recommend that you start looking at narrow wings. I've been absolutely obsessed with my ART1099 and I still am, but I'm now at a point where I really want to start to push my turns and be very aggressive. And what I'm finding is that the wing's holding me back a little bit in regards to that. So I'm looking at 800 wings. I think 800 is a fantastic size. It's a good happy medium between glide, eye aspect ratio, and still the ability to turn really hard. So hopefully this video has helped people. So if you find out you're just like, oh, I barely touched the wingtip and it fell out from under you. Now you know why. So hope this has been helpful and I'll see you on the next one. Boop.